Can keep your eyes closed or you can open your eyes, whichever way it is convenient. When you are back home, there is nobody to tell you what to do. You decide for yourself. Whether to close your eyes, open your eyes, to sit down or not to sit down. But one thing you must remember that meditation is all about being yourself. And meditation, being yourself, is absolutely easy and effortless. Please understand. Agitation is difficult because you have to maintain an agitation. To be miserable, you must remember few nasty things what you thought painful, miserable. The thoughts must keep coming and you don't know what to do with it. You are miserable. But if you see clearly, long before the thoughts appear, the sky of consciousness is always there. Just like outside. Space you don't have to create. The vast sky you don't have to wait for. Clouds you wait for. You wait for rain to happen. The sky by nature absolutely open and free from every occupation. Space always remains unoccupied. The mountain is there, you build a home. Space is not occupied. Space is not absence of a form, absence of a mountain or a home or anything. 
space, in, in spite of the mountain, in spite of the form. Just like the silence. Silence is effortless. What should you do for the silence to be? What should you speak? What should you do? Where should we go? either in time or in place. Silence. Always, everywhere. At all times, all places. Sounds. You have to create, you have to speak. Or, like in your surrounding, the birds must see, the dog is barking. A vehicle may pass. You have to wait for sounds. Sounds will come and go. Silence always there. That does not mean sounds are disturbance. Sounds must be removed. You need sound, you need to speak. And the silence is not negated by any type of sound. Silence is there, not because of the absence of sound, but in spite of sound. Silence always there. I speak the words to make the noise. The dog barks, birds sing. Maybe a plane goes overhead. Silence doesn't go out. You don't have to negate the sounds to be with silence. You don't need to negate a form, demolish a form. To see the formless space. Formless space is not absence of a form absence of a tree or a mountain. It is there in spite of every form. Shift your attention. Close your eyes if you have opened it. Shift your attention to your thoughts. You have to wait for a thought, for the memory to flash. A thought you need to remember, because a thought is not always there. For writing an exam, whatever the subject, that is what you must remember. In a science exam, you don't have to remember social study. In social study, you don't have to remember Sanskrit. So to remember a particular subject, the corresponding thought is required. You remember a particular subject, 
that subject, that thoughts about that subject, you wait for. But friends, please listen. Just to remember, if remembering is an act, how do you remember? You just be conscious and wait for the thought to appear. We are waiting for a thought to appear, but we are not waiting for consciousness. You are already conscious. You are waiting for a thought. To remember a thought, for a thought to come up. But you are not waiting for consciousness. See the simplicity of meditation. Meditation is simple, effortless. Agitation, very difficult. You have to maintain it. Remember the anger, hatred, jealousy, disappointment, deception, frustration. Meditation, simple, like As I am giving out the examples, you listen to the example, but be with yourself, which is pointed out by these examples, like you go to a jungle, you want to listen to the roaring of a lion or a tiger, the call of a deer barking, jackals hooting of an owl, you have to wait. You don't wait for the silence of the jungle. People usually go to listen to the sounds of the jungles. But there is also silence in jungle. Silence is same everywhere. Silence in metropolis, big cities, village, your home, mountains, snow field, same silence, landscapes are different. <clears throat> the sounds are different in different places. Near the ocean, you shall listen to the roaring of the sea. Go to a metropolis, you shall listen to the Sounds of the traffic, the passing, fire brigade, ambulance, police van, horns of different kinds, and the sound of the cities. You go to the listen to the sound of the jungles, the trumpeting elephant. Roaring tiger, hooting owl, monkeys calling, jackals howling. Those are different sounds. 
silence is said. Shift your mind, attention to your own mind. Just like different sounds, different sources, when you are writing an examination or you are talking to somebody, you are looking for, waiting for those thoughts about that subject. When you talk about history, different thoughts. Geography, different thoughts. Your family, different thoughts. Your scriptures, different thoughts. Consciousness. It's not a thought. Silence is not a sound. Ajivin, the silence is not a sound. The formless space is not a form, any form. Consciousness is not a thought. You may have to wait for a thought. You can't wait for consciousness. You are waiting in consciousness. This waiting is not the job of a thought, nor it is the job of consciousness. The waiting belongs to I, individual, who has assumed the role of a meditator. I'm waiting for the thoughts to go. Can you wait for silence to come? Then wait for a sound to come and go. I, uh, waiting for a sound to happen, to begin, or you are waiting for a sound to fade away. Can you wait for silence? You can wait for a thought to appear or disappear. This waiting is not the job of a thought or a sound or any perception. Neither the waiting is the job of the silence. Waiting, the I, individuality, waiting. I am waiting. And wait for many things, friends. Anything. And wait for a bus on the bus stand. Wait for the rain. Wait for the cloud. Wait for a friend to write to you, talk to you. Wait for food. Wait for seeing something, touching something. This waiting creates your agitation. And remember, friends, see very clearly. Waiting means what? When you are waiting for a thought, what are you waiting? In consciousness, there is a sense of waiting. What thought is going to come or go? Can you wait for consciousness? You can't. Can you wait for silence? Silence. 
see that, friends, in the light of all that you have shared in the last few or five classes. You cannot wait for yourself. This waiting is a job. I am waiting. You can wait in space or to something to happen in space. The clouds that come, you can wait for. You can wait for the clouds to go. But that waiting is meaningless for the space. Space doesn't wait. That is where you clearly catch. The body has no sense of waiting. Body has no sense of agitation. Body has no sense of fear. No sense of living or die. Deho no janat. Body does not know anything. Innocent. As even the whole creation. Space is not waiting for anything to happen within it. He's not waiting for the rain to come, rain to go, summer to begin or winter to pass. Space never waits. The moment you close your eyes, you are conscious. As if in the moment you open your eyes, you are also conscious. Eyes open, eyes close. You begin to close your eyes, you begin to open your eyes. But you do not begin to be conscious. You know every condition of your eyes. Open, slowly opening, close. Slowly closing, there is no such slow opening to consciousness, slow closing, closing of consciousness, always there. The sense of waiting belongs to this I. It's a habitual thing, friends, observe and recognize. Meditation. Instantaneous, thy like silence. And it is all pervasive. You go to the ocean to listen to the sound of the ocean, the roaring sound. You want to listen to the sound of a waterfall? Go to a waterfall, there is a Niagara, or a local little fall near your house. You want to listen to the sound of a fall, go to that place. You want to listen to the tigers, lions, go to the jungle. You want to listen to the laughter of your own child, go home where the child is. To listen to the music, go to a place where the music is played. Somebody singing or playing an instrument. For silence, where should you go? You go sightseeing, landscape, space is part of every landscape. You don't come to a country, you don't go visiting a country or a continent, a village or a mountain. There is no space tourism. What do you call space tourism is? Travel from Earth to Moon or Mars. But do you travel to Moon to see the lunar space or Martian space? No. You 
you don't have to travel anywhere to be in space. You travel in space. Anything that needs the travel to reach is an effort. You have to travel from your home to another place, a country or continent, a city or a village. But you don't need to travel to space. Close your eyes if you open it. To travel from a thought to thought, we shall wait for one thought to go, another thought to come. That's a mind travel. In mind travel, you don't cross space outside. Please see that, friends. Simple thing. You travel in your mind from thought to thought. You don't travel in space outside. Covering the distance or taking time. Close your eyes. You travel from your thought to thought. Your body need not move. Your body in the same spot wherever you are. Don't have to go from house to mountain, mountains to river, river to desert, one country to another country. No travel needed. That is why for your meditation, enlightenment, where should you go? You observe with you, wherever you are. And there, you cannot travel. You don't need to travel in space, outside, to travel from a thought to thought. Do you travel or the thoughts reach you before you reach the thought? You can't reach. You need to reach a thought. You be conscious. In a space of consciousness, the thoughts rise. In the world outside, you can sit down in a place and then Mahavalipura moves to your place. Himalayas come to your place. No, in outside space, you, physically, you have to travel from wherever the body is to another place to see that landscape. But your body need not even stir, need not even move to be in space. You shift your attention with it. You don't have to travel to thoughts. Thoughts reach you. Physically, you travel from a place where your body is to take the body to another place to reach that place. Inside, within. You don't travel from thought to thought. Thoughts reach you. How simple and beautiful, friends. 
and thoughts where do they reach you you are everywhere consciousness in consciousness thoughts are traveling to you or thoughts are disappearing they are not traveling to you appear in you as do not there can you ever lose sight of consciousness in whose presence every thought comes and friends can you ever hold on to a thought you cannot thought shall disappear good or else your memory will linger unforgettable and you shall suffer for every moment of your life that the thoughts are fragile that the thoughts keep changing is such a huge blessing meditation you cannot escape agitation you cannot hold on to. restfulness you cannot escape restlessness cannot linger and see that you want to open your eyes you can do so i'll share with you many many examples the earth in a garden the earth is natural the clay the soil the earth is natural trees you have to plant if you want to create a garden earth is already there trees may not be there so you plant your trees whatever type of plant you want whatever type of creepers you want whatever type of flowers you want you plant them you can't plant the earth is already there plants will die away vegetable patches will go earth is same come to your body the body is same and growing Listen carefully. How many dresses have you put on from childhood until now? You cry for your dresses. Have you ever cried for your body? If your body is not there, dresses are not required. But for most people. ishwara 
dresses have become more important than their body. Your body is the most beautiful dress. Why do you put on a dress to appear beautiful, it to hide the ugliness if it is there in your body? Between the body and the dresses, which should be beautiful? A healthy body is a beautiful dress. You love your dresses, but when you drop your dress, you may not love your body. Think, friends, think. Body is always there. You have to maintain it. Because it's a dress. And your physical body continuously growing. Child, five-year-old body, ten-year-old body, thirty-year-old body, seventy-year-old body. The body is continuously changing. Listen, and your soul, your sense organs, eyes are losing capacity, ears losing capacity. They are doing, but your mind is young. Body grows old, but your thoughts are always young. And those thoughts are like your dresses. Just like you have planted trees on the ground outside, thoughts are planted, thoughts are created. You create gentle thoughts, Simple thoughts like a child, or you convert your own thoughts into emotions. I want it, a desire, karma, dreams, desires, obsessions you create. You get something, greedy, I should have more. Do not get something, angry. All that is mental dress. The dresses in your mind. Who is doing it? I. Another thought. All those thoughts, dresses, where are they existing? In consciousness. The original The primordial, primeval, pure existence, your ultimate nature being who you are. Advaita Ratnam, the jewel of infinite kind. Always remains as it is. You don't have to create it. Friends, Ajivin, your body was born in this universe. You did not create the universe. You find your body here in this universe. It was given to you. In the body, sense organs were also given to you. Your eyes, your ears, your tongue, your nose, your skin, your stomach, your knees, your, <coughs> your fingers, your every part of the body given to you. You can't be proud of it. It's given. It was given without your permission, without any consultation with you. The body was given body was born, it shall be taken away without any consultation, prior permission or warning. Suddenly, one day it goes. As if body was given, there are sense organs, every part of the body, so also, mind, 
thoughts. Thoughts were not given to you. You do not come with language thoughts. Uriya, Hindi, Tamil, English, Spanish. No. The machine was given. Language you have to pick up. Like you, you tape recorder you put, purchase. Understand? Open your eyes and listen, close your eyes and listen. Choice is yours. There is no language tape recorder. You take a tape recorder and tape whichever language you like. You purchase a home or build a home, bring in other things. Sometimes in world outside you purchase a home which is already furnished. But your body home comes unfurnished inside. Your inner landscape is open. Depends what language you shall learn. Choice is yours. Wherever you are born. What you shall see, what you shall hear, what you shall touch, what you shall taste, what you shall smell, depends in which place you are growing up with whom. So the thoughts will be continuous, that will be growing up. In the body landscape, these thoughts are there. But those thoughts, that possibility was given to us because there is consciousness. You are a conscious entity. Even an animal you can train because he is conscious. The tree you can give it a direction because it is living and growing. To a conscious human being you can train. We give them many more thoughts, but never introduce due to themselves. First, you must be, you are conscious. Thoughts you are picking up. Informations you are picking up. And that takes time. Which one is easy, friends? You are yourself always. So if the teachers do not know, they shall provide you informations, but they don't introduce you to yourself. So you pick up two types of information about the world, everybody picks up. About the self, not many traditions talk about it. You are defined by what place you are born, which country you are born, what dress you put on, what language you speak, what thoughts you have, what memory is given to you. But all this will happen in consciousness. The most beautiful thing because eternal, sanatana. Sanatana means what? Sadaiva nutana, eternally fresh. Sanatana dharma means what? About yourself. It's not, this tradition is not based on a, this god or that god or this man or that man, this book, that book. No. Sanatana sya dharma. Sanatana sadaeva nutana, which is eternally fresh. And everybody is that. Most beautiful. But what has happened is, as you been, our body is the most precious thing, but we have made our dresses more important. That is, when you go to the marriages, go to the parties, go to the get-togethers, what happens? Everybody looks at what dresses the person has. Your ornaments, your clothes. Wow! Artificiality. Put on, nothing wrong, but don't forget your body is the most important dress. 
on which temporary dresses are put on. For the occasion, a dress is put on. Put a swimming pool, swimming trunk, climbing, climbing apparel, put for a jogging, different dress, diving, different dress, different dresses for different occasions. Body is same. But this body also is a changing dress. You pick up thoughts. That is again another dress. I'm a scientist, artist, painter, musician. You can show your thoughts. Understand, friends. But you are proud of your thoughts. Or you are suffering your thoughts. Memories, you are suffering or proud. Those are thoughts, are the dresses as though for consciousness. The body dress is very important. Not the dresses that cover the body. Thoughts are very important. More than your body. Because your body is beautiful, but you are stupid thinker. Angry, hurtful, jealous. Nobody will bother you. You yourself will hate yourself. But there are so many different dresses. All the thoughts. Memories, sound, touch, taste, smell, sight. Dress for what? In what? Close your eyes. You are conscious. As in body is not the dress that it puts on. Thoughts are not the body in which it is maintained. Consciousness is not a thought. Consciousness is neither a thought or thoughts, nor it is a body, childhood, old, young, or adult, nor it the dresses that you put on, neither the house in which you live or the whole universe in which you are living. Consciousness in and through everything. The whole universe, your body, your sense organs, your organs of action through your body, with all your perceptions, sensations, thoughts, memories, I thought, consciousness in and through everything, but itself is not a dress. What is difficult, friends? Have fun, see this. Collecting dresses for the body is very difficult. You have to purchase, get money. This type of cloth, that type of cloth, this color, that color, this ornament, that ornament, this dress, that. Oh boy, it's a headache. You are maintaining a wardrobe for your body. You are not maintaining your body. 40 year old heart attack dead. Diseased. How do you get disease, friends? Don't know how much to how much to eat, how much to when to eat. How much to use the body, what shall you drink, or you should not drink. You mess up your food and drinks. Body is naturally goes crazy. And this body has to be maintained, art in the world has to maintain with the thoughts. So pick up those beautiful thoughts. Thoughts are there. They are given to you. And who are you to whom it is given? You are a conscious entity. As even relatively body, you are not already got it. Dresses you are collecting, consciousness you are it, thoughts you are collecting. So at thought level, you create emotions, anger, hatred, jealousy, love, infatuation, kindness, humility, everything, both types of dresses. 
like you have got dresses or various colors for your body. Various emotions you collect and you create. On what? Do you create it? So please close your eyes again. Meditation is being your self-consciousness. Effortless, you can be at any time you are conscious, whether it is early morning, midday, midnight, whatever the season, summer, winter, rain, autumn, and all places, whether you are in a mountain top, in your house, inside an ocean, in a ship, outer space, wherever you are, consciousness you cannot miss. Meditation you cannot be away from. And agitations you cannot hold on to because it drops like a dress. Is old, <laughs> like your old clothes, it can tear off. Everything is aging, friends. See how beautiful. You are Sanatana, eternally fresh. On you, in you, everything is changing. There is no on and in. All pervasiveness has no on and in. It is not through everything, but everything shall change. The whole world is changing, your body also is changing. Like outside friends. Today it is cloudy. Now it is raining. Now it's sunshine. Different weathers prevail there. On your in your body also different weather prevails. Hunger, headache, health. Different weather for your body. Tiredness. But who causes it? Naturally also, weather is changing. Child is no more a child. Child's body is not 10-year-old body. 10-year-old body is not 20-year-old body. 20 year old. Different conditions goes on changing. Weather prevail in your body. You have to manage it. As you are managing the weather outside, landscape outside, manage your body. Eat for maintaining the body, not for your pleasure. If you eat to satisfy your mind, your body shall grow horizontal. Body has hunger. Feed it with whatever is good for the body. But we feed the body what we feel like, not what the body needs. Like the example I give always, car needs petrol. You can say I'm a rich man, I will not give petrol, I will put orange juice. Car will stop. This body vehicle needs its own fuel. Child's body, simple food. Adult body, little complicated. Protein, all that stuff, everybody gives some stuff. Particular amount. So when you are hungry, what do you say? What shall I eat? Shall you say, what shall you eat or what your body needs? Your body is diabetic, it needs low sugar food. Provide your vehicle what the body needs. But I feel like eating something, and you eat that, your body goes for a sixer, dies. It's your vehicle. 
understand. You maintain it. So that creates problems, different seasons, agitation, a childhood, or youth, old age, diseases. Because you create it. It has its own natural weather. But you create also, added to it, thoughts. Different weather prevails in your mind. Sometimes very smiling, nice, beautiful summer, little cool weather. Sometimes so angry, God, jealous, hateful. Who is doing it? Who creates your anger? But all this mind weather, if the body is changing in the outside world, it's also changing. The whole world is changing. Body is changing. This mind weather happens in just like the sun rain happens in space outside Akasha. The mental weather, anger, hatred, jealousy, kindness, love, affection, infatuation, fear, insecurity happens in Jidaka, space of consciousness. Chidambara, always season free, like the space has no winter, no summer, no spring, no autumn, no rain. Consciousness weather has no anger, no hatred, no jealousy, no nothing. Always meditation. Close your eyes. Waiting for a weather is agitation. Space you don't wait for. Waiting for a condition of the mind is agitation. Consciousness always meditation. So ask yourself, which one is easy, sir? Meditation or agitation? Happiness yourself or sensation? Sensations you have to create. Happiness always there. You are still afraid. Silence always there. Sounds come on. The sound of the cuckoo comes, goes, silence there. Sounds are various kinds, silence one of a kind. Thoughts are various kinds, consciousness one of a kind. Always as it is. That is why meditation is not a condition like weathers are different conditions, summer, winter, rain, different conditions. Space is not a condition. Thoughts are different conditions. Now you are angry, hateful, jealous, quiet, nice, different conditions. Meditation, consciousness, not a condition. Unconditional, existing as it is always. Be that for yourself. Please chant Om three times, please.
Aynen. İşte 